I was listening to morning TV and they were interviewing some of the voices for the cartoon Inside Out that's playing right now in theaters. And they were interviewing the voice of anger. And uh, we have many different emotions that can come through us on a human side, don't we? Anger and jealousy and rage and, and all these are expressed through this small child. And I hear it's a pretty good movie. But what happens when God takes over you? What happens when you have God in you and you live inside out with God? In Galatians 5, verse 22, it says, The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, and patience. And that's what I pray for you today, that you live within that range of emotion, love, and joy, and peace, and patience, I pray that today you are infilled with the power of God and that God's wise and loving spirit reveals the way through you to harmony and cooperation with others that are sharing your day with you. It's not always easy to adjust to conditions and situations that we find ourselves in. Sometimes we revert back to the human lower side of emotions. But when we meet life with a prayerful attitude, we live in a different way. We live with a harmonious spirit that enables us to do our very best in any situation. Now, life is continually asking us to make adjustments for personalities that we meet, environments, or circumstances that, to be honest, don't measure up to our expectations or desires. And when life makes special demands, all that we need to do is to go to God and allow God to live in us and express God from inside out. And we will have an extra measure of faith. We'll have an extra measure of love. We will have patience and we'll have wisdom. We'll discover these tools as we turn within and we release the spiritual resources that are already there available for our use. Through prayer and right thinking, God's wise spirit reveals the way through us inside out and it will be the way of harmony. It'll be the way of cooperation. It will be the way of love and joy and peace and patience. I wish you that kind of day.